He was the ultimate British royal expert. He had the fancy name, posh pedigree, snooty accent. <laughs> and so international journalists booked him for interviews at the royal wedding, including our very own Tory Shulman. But a new, uh, a new Wall Street Journal investigation says he's not all he's cracked up to be. You might remember I went to London to cover the royal wedding. While I was there, I interviewed Thomas J. Mace Archer Mills Esquire, who was the founder of the British Monarchist Society and toted as an expert on the royals. You do not upstage the future queen of this country, especially when you're coming in the way you are. And when you start to take the spotlight mm. from someone like Catherine, and then you swoop into the United Kingdom, here I am, the American. American, and you're wanting to really upstage the Duchess of Cambridge and the future queen, I won't have it. The Wall Street Journal broke the news that he is not Thomas J. Mace Archer Mills, Esquire. He is, in fact, Tommy Muscatello, a 38-year-old American from upstate New York. Since I became friendly with him in London, I asked for an interview to clear some of these things up. The rest is what follows. Why did you create this persona? Talk to me about that. Well, it, it's not something that was created. It naturally evolved. And uh, it's, it's something that I worked long and hard on trying to explain with some of the media outlets that have reported. But unfortunately, the media's wanted to report what they felt would make a story and omitted the things that were really relevant to the person I am, the person I've become, and what has made me me. What is your legal name? My legal name is Thomas May Sarcher Mills. That's your legal name on your passport. You have a British, British pas passport. That is my legal name as it is on paper. My solicitors, everybody knows that. But is that your, that's, is that that's your legal, what it is. Is that that your is legal name? name? Tori, that is my name. So you're speaking with a British accent right off the bat. Is that real? I've got to be honest. Is that fake? Because you're from New York, am I right? Yeah. I stopped living in New York when I was in my teens. Okay. And uh, the way I speak is the way I speak. It's, it's natural to me. Um, I spoke to my father for the first time in years over this whole thing. And um, he even had said, he said, it must be difficult. And, and it is to speak uh, like uh, an American where I was born because I haven't lived in America in a long time. That you misrepresented yourself to news journalists like myself. I never once misrepresented myself, Tori. Never once did I misrepresent myself. You never I am good at what I do. I'm knowledgeable in my subject. And anyone can go up against me. I know more about the British monarchy than most people in Britain. So to be 100% clear, everything you said to the Wall Street Journal was true. Of course it is. And he went even so far as to go to my primary school. Mm. I mean, to speak to... Um, a a music uh, director and, and all of that. I mean, he went ahead and he did his research and, and I was very happy with that. We even fact checked. And wow. speaking of fact check, we tried verifying everything and we'll keep you guys updated, but Tori, you obviously have more on the situation. Girl. Yeah, it was really crazy because we did become really friendly. We were tweeting afterwards and when this broke today, I was... After was, London, you're After saying. London, yes. yeah, and so this broke today and it kind of broke my heart in a way because we had we had gone out socially and, and all that. Um, he, he has said certain things. He had a very rough childhood. He admitted that. The Wall Street Journal said that. He had an Italian-American father that is somewhat estranged from him and he's had a rough time growing up and he created this persona. He went to school in South Carolina during a production of Oliver. He perfected his British accent during a high school production of uh, Oliver. And he that's perfected true? It. This is true. Okay. The Wall Street Journal has, has said this. Uh, I'm not trying to say he's a liar. I'm presenting the facts to the DBL Nation, and I want you to make up your own mind. To me, it was a misrepresentation of the British people, of how they viewed Meghan Markle, um, but I want you to make up your own mind. He was a very nice man, but uh, to me, it was a misrepresentation. I agree it was a misrepresentation representation and it seems like it's a bit of self-loathing as well. He was very adamant about the way that he was speaking about Meghan Markle as being American as if she was less than. Right. I think he was really talking about himself. Yeah, he wow. doubled down on that and it's a great point. He really put down Meghan Markle a lot for being American just like you said and he himself is from New York. So he is, his side so to speak is saying I never said I was British. I just kind of let everybody guess and that boy. I was British. Right. He didn't lie. He misrepresented. He misrepresented. He's a bit like Rachel Dolezal, which he mm. fully believes 
that he is Thomas J. Mace Archer Mills Esquire. That is who he is. He has two adoptive British grandparents who he spoke about when I met with him, Granny. Apparently those are just two people he met and asked if he could call them grandparents. You know, I, can I just mention the fact that he asked you out, or uh, not asked you out, but invited you and the crew from Daily Blast Live to a private, high-ranking club where he proceeded to order things that were in higher echelons in terms of how much they cost, and then stuck you with the bill. That's the reason why I responded the way that I responded when I did, because I think that that is a very shady thing to do. He is using other people bringing money into private clubs on other people's dimes and representing it as if it's coming from him. So by sticking you with a bill that you never, ever would have, I know you, you don't spend money like that, you don't order those types of things, and he had you order all of those things and made you pay for it, which is absolutely wrong, and I think that he's a shady individual. I'm sorry, Tori. No, I'm okay, I, he was job, a nice guy, but, but you know, I, I feel a bit duped, I feel a bit duped to be super honest with you guys in the DBL Nation, but it's up to you to decide what you yeah. guys think. Okay. Well, great interview, Tori. Thank you very much, thank you.